Tomorrow at Milan Dragway, more than 150 cars will hit the asphalt in Friday night heads up race. Our Casey Hollins has the story of one very unique driver competing tomorrow who refuses to let anything get between him and his love of speed. While I was in the car, people looked at me as a drag racer, not a guy in a wheelchair. Chad Anselmi has always loved cars, but 17 years ago he was involved in an accident that changed everything. I got paralyzed and um, in a car accident. In 2010, um, I had actually uh, got diagnosed with a bone infection in my pelvis. Kind of got really down in the dumps and kind of bummed out. Well, um, my wife and a friend of mine had actually suggested um, maybe I should get another car again, something to go to the track, enjoy. So Anselmi bought a car. Fast forward to the beginning of this year, and now, with the same kind of hand control technology he uses in his regular truck, he's racing it. This is uh, my hand control. Um, when I press forward, this lever presses down on the brake pedal down there. It might be common thinking to believe that being wheelchair bound could prevent you from coming out to a place like this and competing. But through this process, Anselmi says that he's realized the only limits there really are are the ones that you place on yourself. And now he's trying to spread that message. Some of it has to do with drag racing, some of it don't. Um, some people just have had like a, a back injury and they're not wheelchair bound, but they've let their car sit for five years because they just didn't have the motivation and seeing me out doing it, they're telling me, you know, it's motivated me to get back out there and try to achieve some of my goals. This is my life now, and I can either sit around and be depressed about it or bummed out, or I can at least enjoy it and make the best out of it. In Milan, Casey Hollins, 7 Action Sports.